And still on DEFCON 2024, the Anglican Bishop of the Diocese of Ahaji Egbema, the Right Reverend Dr. Chidi Okwarajaku, has charged the church to train and mobilize believers to become wealth creators, thereby making the church prosper in all endeavors. The bishop, while speaking on the topic world creation at the recently concluded Church of Nigeria's 2024 Divine Commonwealth Conference in Abuja, with a team, Peace Be Still, taken from Mark chapter 4, verse 39, said, Any world that is not transferable is a bad world. God gave us the world and its resources. I recorded in Genesis chapter 1, chapter 1, verses 1 to the end. God gave us man to control. Precise verse 27, 28, 29. Man to have control over resources. In chapter 2 of Genesis, verse 15, God gave put man in garden of freedom and asked him to do two things, dress it and keep it. Unfortunately, the church have forgotten all about that. God gave us the world and its resources, but we have chosen to remain inward lookers and outward observers and beggars. In fact, the church, if properly mobilized, know their responsibility, and become aware of the enormous power God willingly gave the church, we will become wealth distributors instead of begging. Where does not consider whether you are a believer or not a believer. Bear it in mind. Does not consider whether you are spiritual or unspiritual. Where does not consider whether you are illiterate or literate. Does not consider whether you are beautiful or you are ugly. Does not consider whether you are professional or unprofessional. Does not consider tribe ethnicity, does not conduct that title or office or position of authority. Rather, it recognizes creative and productive decisions. The word creation refers to building wealth through a variety of methods using financial products. The steps to which word creation function, one is acquire, acquisition of wealth. Second thing to be done is to protect it. Many of us don't protect their money. When they acquire their wealth, they don't protect it. Don't behave anyhow. Number three thing to do thereafter is to grow it. When you acquire wealth, you protect that wealth, you grow the wealth. If you don't grow the wealth, it cannot grow. When you grow the wealth, you watch over it. Your eyes should be there, so you watch over it. And then number five, you transfer it. Any wealth acquired and protected and grow and watch over, that's not transferable. It's a bad world. That's why today you can see a lot of those who were millionaires when we were younger. When we hear their names, today their children are nowhere because the wealth was not transferred to them. So when the wealth is acquired, it is protected. That wealth is grown. And that wealth is to look over and it's transferred. It's at that point you succeed making wealth. Bishop Okwara Jaku also reminded all believers that the word of God describes a good man as one who cannot just create wealth, but leaves an inheritance for his generation to come. Adding that one major way to build wealth is through regular savings and investments. The true way to get wealth, which is tried, which are called orthodox, which is tried and true way to build wealth is through regular savings and investments. Regular. Any man who cannot save from one naira, he can't save from one naira. Give him one million or her one million, she can't save from one million naira. But the same reason why he will not save from one naira, we also show up as a million reason why he should not save one naira from there. According to the Bible, we are created in God's image to co-create with him and for him. Not just for him alone, and to create products and services for the common good. Look at the way he says, said, Let's make men our own image so that they can have dominion, authority, rule, and control, and be in charge. Nobody else. Those, all the, those things there are prosperity principles. When you accumulate, you nurture. When of us can accumulate, we can nurture. That's why somebody can earn 100,000 naira, and uh, he's asking for money, more money, he doesn't have money. He can earn 200,000 naira, even 50,000 naira, he's still saying there's no money. Why? Because he accumulates, he does not nurture. When you accumulate, you nurture. You protect that by legacy. You struggle to give it a face. Very important. The Bible said the earth is the Lord. Fullness thereof. So God didn't say there is sacred and there is a secular. No. The earth is the Lord. Matthew 28 verse 20 verse 90 says, Go ye into all, all the world. All. He didn't say something. The church has suddenly drifted from their responsibility. 
and then now he was praying every day inside church and not going out to go and act and get involved. And we are crying. God gave us ability to create wealth, not unbelievers. We can raise any amount of money, but the problem we have, we will not be properly resourced or talked to or trained or taught that part of your life, the part of your salvation is the worship. God say, remember, it's the Lord that gave you power to create wealth. Matthew 25, verse 14 to 13, talked about three servants. The master said, they were given talents to do business. When he came back, asked for reward. They created wealth. The one with five, created extra five. The one with two, created extra two. The one with one, didn't create anyone. It was cost. Some of us, those words you are handy, you don't want to create wealth. Cost will follow you. The Bible says that it says so. What is your wealth? What are you creating with your wealth? A good man leaves inheritance to his children's children. But the sinner's wealth is laid off for his righteous. A good man. So don't think when you train your children, they go and train you back. It's not, it's not the Bible. The Bible said, if you're a good man, you must keep away for your children's children. 